A former band director at Eisenhower High School faced a judge today over allegations that he had inappropriate interactions with students. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash was in court and tells us what happened. Christopher Treskel's bond was set at $50,000, even though prosecutors wanted it to be double that. Christopher Traskell is the former band director at Eisenhower High School who suddenly retired in October over allegations he sent explicit emails to a student. He's now charged with child sexual abusive activity and using a computer to commit a crime. Both are 20-year felonies. Now, sir, do you understand those rights I've just read to you? Yes, sir. And do you understand the uh, charges against you? Action News talked to the alleged victim. I mean, I had a lot of respect for him, and as a band director, I still, like... I respected everything he did for us, and I just can't believe that I saw that other side, and I wish that I never would have. In court today, the assistant prosecutor asked for bond to be set at $100,000, but the judge set it at half that. We have serious charges here, and the court has considered the fact uh, as to uh, no prior record is all at, at all. So the court will uh, set bond at $50,000, cash is surety only. If bond is posted, Traskell will have to wear a GPS tether and be under house arrest. He's also not to have any contact with former or current Eisenhower students. But Traskell is still in more legal trouble. He's accused of sexually assaulting a high school girl back in 2011. In that case, he's charged with two counts of criminal sexual conduct. He'll be in court for that tomorrow. Traskell's parents were here in court today, but they had no comment. In Shelby Township, a new Prakash 7 Action News. Some troubling charges, a new thank you. We'll